like this. Hi guys, today I have got a small video upload for you, which um, it's, it's actually taken quite a while to do this one. And what I've actually got is this for my 13 inch MacBook Pro, kindly sent to me by iCarbons.com. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it for you. So, uh, yeah, I mean. These are absolutely great, these things. I mean, uh, I've got, got one on my iPad and I would have one on my phone as well, but uh, I'm actually waiting uh, for the new phone now because I've only got a 3GS at the minute. So, as soon as the new iPhone comes out, I'm sure that one will be available for that. So, let's see, get inside this and we get obviously the bottom piece for the lid, the top with the uh, cutout logo there and then you get an option of a red or white apple to go in there I don't know if you can actually see yeah you can just make out the lines where it's actually been laser cut to uh, fit directly inside this okay so here goes anyway now apparently been told the best way to do this is if you peel that off. Oh, by the way, I've already cleaned that as well. Uh, and you want a hairdryer re uh, ready for this uh, job. Now, I put that under there, and then what we have to do is play around until we are happy with its general position. That looks good there. That's still up a bit. Okay. Uh -huh. It's always uh, worth your while taking your time at this point to make sure that you're happy with its position. And I just want to come forward just a touch. That actually looks just about right, I think. Yeah. So now, if I remove that, and there we go. Now, if I do just get that bit there, Smooth, nice and smooth down. Then just roll those over a bit. Just don't do the corners just yet. Just do the flats. And then this is the best bit, it's going to get a bit noisy here. So you might want to cover your ears. And uh, we're going to warm it up with um, a warm setting on a hairdryer, just general ladies hairdryer. Just remember some of these can get quite hot so remember not to leave your fingers hanging around. And what we do is we're going to warm the corners up on this which helps to make it uh, shrink slightly so that you don't get any ripples in your corners. So looking really good. And I'm very happy with that. That's come out absolutely superb. Okay, so next I'll flip over and do the bottom.
and of course with the bottom here basically you want to line it up with your feet and of course the screw holes they're pretty important because uh, you know I may want to be in here to do some upgrades at some point possibly even uh, it may even need work on it in the future but uh, fingers crossed it won't need that Basically, same again. Just curve those edges over. And that one and that one. And then same again with the uh, hairdryer again, guys. I'll tell you what, guys, that hairdryer trick is the business because uh, I've fitted one of these before and uh, I did actually struggle a bit with the corners the first time I did it and uh, that I wish I'd known this back then definitely because that has made, just made that fit so easy it is unreal now uh, I think for now I'm actually going to leave the logo out uh, because I do like the light on the uh, MacBook. I mean, at the end of the day, it's uh, one of the main outstanding features of the MacBook. So I think, yeah, I think, uh, hmm, yeah, I think I'm going to leave those for now. Have a think about it, and uh, I'll see how it goes. And then, uh, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe I will fit those at a, one of those at a later date, anyway. But I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with that. And what I do like about these is it gives you that little bit of extra grip. So you're much less likely to uh, drop it. But that has fitted an absolute treat. Um, I mean, I love these. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link down below. So uh, you know, if you fancy doing one yourself, you'll be able to uh, go onto their site and buy one. Uh, so... Yeah, I'm really chuffed with that. Absolutely over the moon with it, guys. So, uh, there you go.